screw everything up oh, by yeah. putting the Was whole that you? or something like that. And you, and right, it's and not you? just a Disney thing. Yeah, well, and no cow. Because it's just the fairy tale aesthetic. Yeah. Uh, but anyways, uh, the at least the <laughs> Disney movie had the meat at all before they had true love. Cause yeah, you know, there are some others that we've watched. That doesn't happen. No. They literally meet once, and then that's it. Yeah. Either way, uh, so the three good fairies are like, we can't, we can't go to King Stefan and say that we failed. So we're just gonna cover everything up oh, by yeah. putting the whole kingdom to sleep. And this is another really cool. I mean, all the scenes in this movie are really cool. Uh huh. This is another cool scene of just like flying around and putting the blue green tint over everything yeah. as they fall asleep. That that color palette as they put everybody to sleep just it it does make you have this feeling of like it, it almost kind of feels like death. <laughs> like they're casting, they're literally casting sleeping death on everybody. Yeah, and they all go to sleep. But luckily, forever until the curse is broken. Yes, like they yet just again. integrated it into the other one. Yeah, well, yet again, luckily Aurora did meet somebody out in the woods because otherwise one the of whole them overheard. Would be screwed. Yeah, and one of them overheard uh, the king talking about this. Well, talking about mm. talking to Stefan about uh, the fact that Prince Philip met someone in the woods today, yeah, and got captured by Maleficent. The cottage where he supposedly is, and uh, go get him. Go get him. In the meantime, mm. Prince Philip has run off to the cottage and got captured by Maleficent. <laughs> so she takes the prince back to her castle and uh-huh. puts him in the dungeon. She's like, "I'm not gonna kill you." No, you she's know what? not interested. She's not interested in killing anyone. Really. You will stay here for 100 years, and then, and only then, I will release you. The prince, the, the valiant prince, will ride off on his noble steed to go to the sleeping princess and wake her with love's true First kiss. <laughs> so she's going to let him go. <laughs> But he's going to be incredibly old, <laughs> and he'll have to live with the fact that he's been stuck in a dungeon for 100 years, unable to do anything. Yeah. And so by the time he does show up, he's going to be, like, on his deathbed. Yeah. She is so petty, and I love this plan. <laughs> My real question is, though, is, like, is that... If he dies right. early, she might just be a F. Well, he didn't live long enough, obviously. He didn't love her enough. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes, I mean, I, I honestly believe that, like, as soon as she left that dungeon, she would have just, like, let him starve down there. <laughs> <laughs> but either way, the three good fairies uh, figure out that she's been he's been captured by Maleficent, and they go in and they free him. And then they give him a magic sword and shield, and they have this grand escape scene where they're like throwing everything at him, and they just like, no, that's flowers, and no, that's bubbles, and there, let's have a rainbow or two. They like did a couple of rainbows. Yeah, I mean, the whole point of the fairy's magic is that it's it can't be malicious. The only time the fairy's magic ever does come off as malicious is when Meriwether turns Diablo into a statue. Mm-hmm. And I'm sure in her mind she saw that as a good thing. Oh, yeah. Well, I mean, earlier in the movie, Meriwether's like, oh, I'd like to turn Maleficent into a big old hot toad. <laughs> and Flora's like, mm, you can only do magic that's that's good, dear. And she's like, yeah, well, it would make me happy. <laughs> <laughs> it's 